Amen. Without further ado, let us pray. Baruch Atah Yehovah Tisabar. Blessed are you, our God, Lord of hosts, as recorded in Isaiah 28 and 5. It's in the matchless name of Yeshua HaMashiach, the Anointed One, that we do submit this prayer. Father, we welcome your presence into this place, and we give you permission to walk heavy in this virtual tabernacle of prayer. Throw your weight around. Show yourself strong on the behalf of those whose hearts are turned towards you. We speak well of your name as we glory in your presence. We're grateful for every little thing you've ever done for us. We do confess our sins and plead the blood of Jesus. Forgive us as we forgive others and even as we forgive ourselves. Father, we do repent and we are godly sorry. Father, we lift up every prayer request that aligns with your word, your will, and your way. We are remembering every name that has ever populated the prayer list. We cannot call them all by name, but you know exactly who they are and what they need. And so, Father, I ask that you would move mightily on their behalf. We ask that you would bless everyone under the sound of my voice right now. Father, you have been good to us. You are holy and worthy and good, and you deserve to be celebrated and exalted. We yield surrender. We acquiesce to your plan. God, move powerfully amongst us. Cast out anything that is not like you. We pray for those in the circles of our concern, our family members, our loved ones, and our friends. Keep up hedges of protection around them all. Father God, meet their needs and do it for your glory. Father God, we thank you because your ears are ever open to the prayers of the righteous. We thank you for our standing in you. Yes, God, we stand before you in the righteousness of Christ. We are not righteous because we have behaved properly. We are not righteous because we thought the right thoughts. We are the righteousness of Christ simply because of the shed blood of Jesus. And I want to tell you, thank you for the blood. It yet has power. You are a stronghold in the time of trouble. Give us insight to make decisions that are in line with your word. Let us know not be weary in well-doing father people are suffering everywhere human life is no longer sacred and precious greed is trying to replace grace murder and mayhem are taking and trying to supplant mercy political corruption is at all-time high and justice being denied in the courtrooms of this great nation father we need you as never before the prophet Amos warned us that you rather are not impressed by the things we've acquired you are not moved by our houses our cars our education our wardrobe our intelligence or our position in society you said in your words you hate corrupt judges and those who prosper at the expense of the poor you detest worship that is routine and lifeless dry and empty of zeal we want to worship you God in spirit and in truth you want us to worship you with our whole mind, our whole body, and our whole spirit. Father, teach us how to turn up the volume of our praise and our worship. You have already declared to the prophet Micah that you want us to do justly, love mercy, and walk humbly with you. You created us for your glory. So God, get glory out of our lives. And when our robes become singed with the flesh because we walk too closely to the gates of hell, gently pull us back. Don't turn us over to a reprobate mind. Don't close up the portals and the windows of heaven. Continue to love on us like you did when you gave your only begotten son, Jesus Christ, on Calvary at the hill of Golgotha. We've got so much to be grateful for. We want to thank you for one more day. We thank you for keeping us even when we didn't want to be kept. We thank you for allowing our golden moments to roll on a little while longer. We are grateful that you have chosen not to deal with us according to our shortcomings, our slothfulness, our foolishness, and our sinfulness. You've been better to us than we have been to you. 
We are not gathered here because we've been so good, so kind, so smart, but we are gathered here today because you are mindful, aware, and alert about the things that concern us. Thank God you have not forgotten about us. We're grateful because you brought us all the way. From out of nowhere you brought us. Our souls look back and wonder how we could have made it this far. It was all because of you, and it's all about you. Father, you are the main attraction. Lord, remove the laziness of procrastination from our mind and bodies. Push us into our full potential. Please bring peace in our confusion, joy in our sadness, and hope in our confusion, Father. If something is not for us, please remove it. If it's not for us, reveal it and protect the paths that we are on. Don't let us quit for anything. Father, please take away our worries. We are grateful you picked us up and nurtured us when we had been left by the roadside to die. You spoke life to our dead situations for that, Father. I am so grateful. We are grateful because you did not turn us over into the hands of the enemy. You made the darkness light before us, and what was wrong you made right. You promised that even down to a ripe old age, you would bear us. You have made the darkness light before us. You made the crooked road straight. You spread your wings of protection over us. And when we walked by the wayside, you led us. You promised from the fatness of the land you would feed us. You have brought the high places low, and we do thank you, Lord. Father, please restore to us the joy of our salvation. Heal the inner child so that we can once again enjoy the simple things of life. Heal us, God, till we can trust again. Heal us till we can laugh again. Heal us till we can dance again. Heal us until every addiction is solved. Heal us until holy boldness helps us to speak up for ourselves. Father, bless those who have been shut in and shut out. Stretch out your mighty hand in the matchless name of Jesus and usher in restoration. We need your hand of healing over the land. We need the hand of salvation to supercharge the atmosphere and burn up everything that is not like you. Rise up from your place of rest and take joy in us as we seek to please you. Uh, Father, we need the latter rain. We pray for a new and anointing, a fresh refilling and another baptism of the Holy Ghost. Uh, you have beaten back the forces of adversity. When the enemy came in rushing like a mighty wind, you lifted up a standard against the enemy. Your name is a strong tower. The righteous run in and are saved. We thank you for your cleansing power. We thank you for your anointing. We thank you for your deliverance, your help, your word, uh, the blood wash baptism and the Holy Ghost. We thank you for your covenant. Thank you for commissioning warring angels on our behalf, giving us access to the name that is above every other name. <laughs> your goodness, your mercy, and your kindness, and your blessings. Father, break up the fallow ground of our hearts and let your word find good ground in us. Plant seed there and let it prosper. Let it grow and it will bring forth the good fruits of love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, and temperance uh, keep us away from the works of the flesh help us to crucify the flesh of our hearts that we might not sin against you father somebody's in pain today in the mighty name of Jesus father heal that pain take away the inflammation of arthritis gout and rheumatism we speak to COVID-19 and monkeypox cancer diabetes sickle cell anemia high and low blood pressure asthma sarcoidosis the lungs, the kidneys, the pancreas, the heart, the liver, that stroke that's waiting to happen, we deny you. Autism and every other disease, you must submit and yield to the word of God. Go into remission now. The word of God declares that we are every whit whole and by his stripes, hallelujah, we are healed on today. Mucous membranes cease in your overproduction that results in too much phlegm in our body. Body, begin to clear yourself of every illegal operation. Immune system, kick into high gear now. White blood cells, download the latest antivirus definitions now. Immobilize the foreign matter in our bodies now. Tumors, 
lump cysts. Your growth is stunted and reversed. You are denied blood supply. I speak to all 11 systems of the body. Return to optimal working order. Sync up with each other and then begin to monitor each other and regulate each other. Depression, disappointment, you are nullified. Corrupted conditions, you are canceled. Every repetition of chaos and disorder, you are repelled. Our God is a God of order. So we ask that you would straighten up and fly right in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, put us in places and positions that are beyond our experience, our training, and our education. Give us houses that we did not build, orchards we did not plant, and wells we did not dig. Call forth your people out of the mindset of Lodabar. No more scratching, no more eking out of life, no more barely making it. Bring us into a wealthy place, a well-watered place, and give us the wealth of the wicked that you have laid up for the righteous. Even in this time of pandemic and endemic, Please bring forth millionaires and billionaires and then teach us how to use money in favor to bring about the highest good for all. Father, bind up the works of the enemy, send confusion into the camp of the wicked, thwart every secret plan, machination, plot, and scheme. Open our eyes so that we can see you more clearly. Give us supernatural sensitivity to every crafty subtleness of every demon impotent confederate of the adversary. Satan, the Lord rebukes you. The blood of Jesus stands against you. The spirits of road rage, wrath, murder, mayhem, catastrophe, calamity, and confusion. You are arrested in your development. It's in that wonderful name of Jesus. Cast out every demon. Bring on the power of victory. We are no longer victims, but we are victors from right to this point on we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us we can go through the fire and we will not be burned we can go through the flood and we will not be drowned father look and have mercy on the sick and afflicted the millions of bereaved people the addicted the, and those less fortunate than we are the shut in the shut out the institutionalized those unfairly incarcerated those bound to convalescent homes those in hospitals and hospices don't forget the essential workers and public services Servants, the homeless, the hopeless, and the helpless. Father, save the lost. Reclaim the backslider. Give us a word of hope that will inspire those who don't yet know you in the pardon of their sins. Father, help the suicidal to see life and hope again. Mend the brokenness of our hearts. Bless the victims of human trafficking. Lift up those who have bowed down heads. Speak words that bring life, love, light, and laughter. Feed the hungry, clothe the naked, give solace to the lonely. Send warm thoughts of love and brotherhood to those who are deemed unlovable. Father, please don't forget every church that's represented in this virtual tabernacle of prayer and every gathering of your people who proclaim the sonship and the kingship of our elder brother, Jesus Christ. Send pastors after your own heart. Get glory out of what we say and do in spite of what we say and do. Father, you've already done enough, but we'll be ever so grateful if you do these things for us. And if you don't, you'll still be God. And it's in the mighty name of Yeshua HaMashiach that we submit this prayer. And everyone in agreement with you will open up their mouths and seal it with the praise. Amen. Amen. And amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Open your mouth, people. Your deliverance is in your mouth. Hallelujah. Bless your name, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Shalom, everyone, and be encouraged.